YouTube final community, dead mall fans, random people on the internet. My name is Giggins, and we're here today for another video of me exploring a store that's closing, which I kind of flirt with these videos online every once in a while. I'm not the best at it. There's people who are way better at me at doing this stuff. But there's been a JCPenney that's been closing recently, um, fairly close to where I live. And I've been kind of watching it um, close, basically. <laughs> Over the last couple of months, they've been pushing their date back and back. Um, it was supposed to close completely in September, then it was early October, now it's mid-October as of uh, a week ago or two weeks ago when I was in there last. They told me that it was uh, going to close up this month here in October of 2020. And every time I've gone in, less and less stuff is there. So, I mean, the sales are working. I mean, almost everything's 90% off. How can you go wrong with that? So, I mean, I've been went in there and bought, like, some shirts and some socks and stuff, which, you know, who cares, but... I wanted to just document the store because it's in a mall and the mall itself is totally dying. Uh, it's a really sad, sad place, but the store itself um, is an anchor and to see an anchor store close is never a good sign. And that's now two anchor stores out of this mall out of the three. It's not the hugest mall. It's not that big, but um, you know, seeing it just collapse like this and I haven't lived in this area for too long and watching this mall rapidly decline in the short amount of time I've been over here has been pretty crazy but I wanted to document this mall or this store in particular because you know JCPenney's been around for as long as I've been alive and malls have always been a huge part of my life um you know I used to go to the music store in the mall I used to go to FYE all the time uh, all the clothes stores were there. I went to JCPenney if I had to get like a fancy shirt if I was going to church or something. So, <laughs> you know, JCPenney was always, uh, you know, a store that was there when you needed some nicer clothes or whatever the case was. They have t-shirts and stuff too. I got a nice hoodie there recently. But um, it's just kind of sad to see, you know, stores closing. Here's a chair just chilling. Shout out to the proper people. <laughs> I had to put that in there. It's just a drag. Um... Obviously, it, you know, some people might watch this and say, like, oh, it's big business, it's capitalism. Yeah, of course it is, but it's still kind of weird to see this. And it's, it sucks for the people who work there who are going to lose a bunch of their jobs, and uh, or a bunch of people who will lose their jobs, rather, I should say. Um, so I just kind of walked around with my phone out, um, you know, seeing what I can grab for footage here. And, um, you know, more than anything, it's just a document of an era that will be disappearing more and more as we, you know, venture more into online shopping because it's all online you can order whatever you want from your bed at two o'clock in the morning and it's there <laughs> two days later um so who needs to go to a store to buy anything anymore what's the point but i like shopping in person it's just more fun and uh you know maybe it's just me being a, a geezer but i just like it so yeah just kind of walking around looking at some jeans here some pants uh they've condensed some of the uh areas to kind of make it look a little bit more full but some areas are just like this where it's just a ton of furniture and these mannequins were expensive they're like a hundred bucks for a mannequin so you know if you need to have a mannequin in your life and you know just put some clothes on them or art projects or crafts or whatever hundred bucks jc penny but even this guy section here, uh, I was here about three weeks before I filmed this, and this was way more filled up. So, I mean, this place has gotten really well cleaned out, which I guess is a good thing. You know, there won't be much going to waste or going back to, uh, you know, a distributor or something. And I'm hoping all this furniture gets bought up or reused and it's not thrown into a landfill or something, because a lot of it's in good shape, you know. Just clean it up a little bit and use it for something else. I filmed this during the week as well, and, um, or was it the weekend? No, it was a Saturday. I, I've been there a couple of times while they've been closing here, but this one was on a Saturday, and, um, they weren't as busy as I thought they would be for a Saturday. Check this out. So this was my favorite part to film. This was, like, a ton of glass fixtures, uh, it was my feet. So you could buy like a glass table for like 20 bucks. That was pretty cool. But um, once I turn the corner here, this is where things get pretty cool. Um, check out this thing. It's an old weight machine. Parcel post scale. 
And this thing must be from like the 60s. I mean, this is, it just looks old. Maybe the 70s. Um, just that font and the, the wear and tear and the, the look of it. You know, that color grayscale was very of its time in the 50s and 60s. So this thing had some use here over the years. There was a box of VHS videos, of training videos, that I should have grabbed. Like JCPenney training videos. These were cool, obviously they were empty. But uh, old payroll sheets. Destroy in 1998. Destroy in 2000. This mall, um, I'm not sure exactly when it was built. I want to say in the 70s or in the mid 80s. It's, it definitely looks like uh, you know that time. That kind of setup. The the aesthetic looks like it's from that time. Here's some uh, hairdresser heads. See so if you want to learn how to cut hair. You can have a decapitated head for yourself. That one's 45 bucks. I wonder why that one's so much more. There's a chair just chilling. And some more heads. I don't know, some people might find this annoying that I'm talking over the entire video. <laughs> like I said, this is not my uh, this is not my forte. Other people do this way better than I do. And you can find them on YouTube. Here's the shoe department. I should have gone in the back. I walked right by the door where you could walk in to the see the back where they keep all the extra shoes. I should have gone in there. Oh well. Five dollars. Measure your own feet. Yep, there's the door. Should have walked in there. Bummer. Here's a Christmas tree. Would have been used for the seasons. But look at all these all these empty shelves. It's unreal. And even like two or three weeks before this, this was loaded with bedding and uh, blankets and you know beds and uh, quilts, sheets, all kinds of linens. Now it's just things. Sad to see a store close, because nothing's gonna replace it. And if it is, it might be like, um, you know, kind of like a local type of shop. Which this mall's kind of done. They've opened up to some local places, not like uh, big chain stores, which is pretty cool. So that helps the local economy pretty well. But um, yeah, then I went outside the mall to look around, and that store on the left there was one bookstore, and they've since expanded to across the hallway here, and then even next door to where they were. And they used the entire hallway in the middle. I've never seen anything like it. There was just a ton of books. And this one here is the media center, as they were calling it. And it was all, you know, records, CDs, uh, lots of videos and DVDs. Here's a broken copy of Abbey Road if you want one. They're going fast. A loud insane. A burned copy of Californication. Come and get it. Supplies are limited. And the dolphins made me cry. That thing was pretty cool, that red uh, tape deck there. Check this out. This was a row of CDs, and I'm not even kidding. I mean, this is, you know, four, was it four or five shelves worth of CDs? Four shelves? I mean, there must have been, I don't know, 10,000? <laughs> I, I can't count, but, I mean, there was a lot, maybe 5,000 or something, but just a ton of CDs. And um, it was my day off, so I went through them. <laughs> I found two. Out of that entire thing, I found two CDs. They were two bucks each, so I grabbed them. But uh, I found a copy of uh, Jay-Z and the Beatles' Grey album, which was a bootleg. But very cool to see it on CD, and I haven't heard that in forever. Very cool mashup. Then I found a couple of Beatles CDs here, including this with the Beatles, which I did buy. Because um, as I have, I've posted on my Instagram the little story about it, so... Uh, if you go to my Instagram, it's Giggins with an underscore. You can read some more about why I bought that thing. But brought back a lot of memories. I never owned that actual CD as a kid. We used to rent it from the library. but uh, So I picked that up for a dollar but or two bucks, whatever it was. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Giggins. This has been Giggins Explores a Dying JCPenney. <laughs> and then goes to some weird bookstore. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And again, I, uh, these these are not my strong suits. So... Thanks for indulging me. Have a good one.